I've been professionally guiding and outfitting for over 35 years. I specialize in most of the Western big games between Colorado, Montana, and all the way to Manitoba for big Canadian moose. Through my experience in the field, hunters that come out, they expect a, an ethical harvest of their animal. In a reliable bullet, such as the Corlock, for over 80 years, the Corlock bullet has a proven reputation of being the deadliest mushroom in the woods. With the increase of technology, they've introduced the big green polymer tip on their new core lock tip bullets. The core lock tip bullet brings matte grade accuracy on longer ranges downfield. We have the first round hot off the line. We're putting to the test today on paper and ballistic gel, the 270 win in 130 grains. We started out at the 50, we went to the 100, we went to 200, 300, and now we're at the 500. Every position that we've shot at, we've shot sub MOA. At all the different ranges, we're within a half MOA consistency, accuracy out of the box that you can't match anyone. Now we're gonna put it to the gel test to see the performance at different ranges. You can see 20 inches of penetration, a devastating wound channel, and the legendary Corlock bullet intact. Let's see what it does at 100 yards. <laughs> 20 inches of penetration. We've removed the section of GL here so you can see the devastating wound channel. And again, the reliability of the Corlock tip bullet intact. <laughs> now we're at 200 yards. And you can see 21 inches of impact. The terminal devastation that this bullet provided, it actually blew out the bottom of the table. This is just pure energy that it delivered into this gel. Now this ballistic gel is FBI ballistic gel to actually simulate soft tissue. But 21 inches, we're actually gaining depth after this violent entrance. We're gonna give her a shot at 300 yards. The final product is right here. 18 inches of penetration. That's almost a pass-through on a big game animal the size of an elk. The wound channel, it's devastating. This is actually really fun to see because you can't categorize what it do actually does in an animal, but right here you can see it. And this, this core lock tip bullet went all the way to 18 inches at 300 yards with a 270. Now we're gonna back out to 500 yards and give it another try. At 500 yards, it shows a deflection. We're dealing with some adverse weather, thunderstorms, high winds. We fired three shots. We hit it all three times. Two came in, and you can see both of them lined up at 19 and a quarter inches of penetration at 500 yards with a 130 grain 270 Winchester. We're gonna take these bullets, and we're gonna extract these bullets out of this jail, and we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison from 50 yards all the way out to 500, and we're gonna show you how this this uh, core lock tip bullet performed. At 50 yards, it came out a 270, it went in at 50 cal. As you can see, at 100 yards, we're gaining expansion, almost to a 52 caliber. Next up is our 200 yard bullet. And as you can see, in true core lock fashion, we're up to a, almost a 55 caliber. Here we are at 300 yards, it's over 61 caliber in expansion. At 500 yards, it shows a deflection, which is actually a true comparison to bone. It still had double expansion. The core lock originally was designed to have a jacket that locks onto the inner core of that bullet. As you can see, the core lock tip bullet performed just as you know, core lock performed, but with the added benefits of flatter trajectory, better bullet coefficiency, and now we're introducing a little bit longer ranges that you can reach with the, the same exact terminal devastation downrange. With the introduction of the core lock tip bullet, the nickname of the deadliest mushroom in the woods just got deadlier. Core lock tip bullets, 
all the way out to 500 yards, half inch MOA. For more information, click the link in the description.